this is before applying the optimizations and this is after applying these optimizations so if you want to get the most out of your pc without downloading any files or programs this is how to optimize windows 10 or windows 11 for ultimate gaming and performance just by using the settings and commands within the windows itself it's gonna improve windows 10 and windows 11 for performance and get you more fps in all games these methods will work for all low-end mid and high-end pcs or laptops help you get more performance and reduce input latency so smash that like button and let's dive into it first up go down to the start menu and search for ms config then open it inside of here a very popular tweak is to go to the boot tab hit advanced options unlock the number of processors and setting it to the highest number however keep in mind that this has no impact on the performance whatsoever and it's only there for windows power users for testing purposes so no it won't give you more fps in fortnite however there is no harm in using this so simply hit ok but the setting that will give you more fps is going to services then checking hide all microsoft services and unchecking any of the ones that you don't want to start up with your windows for example i have unchecked all of the adobe services the brave services as well as the google chrome services once you have gone through all of these and uncheck hit apply then go to startup open task manager and once again repeat the process right click any program that you don't want to start up with your windows and hit disable once done hit close hit ok and exit without restart then go down to the start menu and search for cmd run as admin once it opens copy and paste this command from the description and hit enter now this is going to scan the windows disk image for any errors and as you can even see in the command it says restore health so it's going to basically restore the windows image making sure that there are no damaged files inside of it this can take some time so be patient meanwhile you can waste your life scrolling reels on instagram or watching tiktok once that is done go to the description once more and copy and paste this command and then hit enter this one is going to scan the entire windows for any corrupted or damaged files and automatically repair them as well so that your lazy ass doesn't have to do anything at all it's going to first take the verification process and then apply the steps necessary so you can leave this one in the background but for me i'm gonna close it right now so we can move on next we are gonna optimize our network settings so that we can get lower ping in all of the games that we might play so right click on the network icon and open up the network and internet settings then change adapter options right click on your ethernet or wi-fi and hit properties then click on configure and go to power management make sure that all of these boxes are unchecked these are going to make sure that your network adapter does not randomly turn off to save power because we are gonna be gaming so hit ok right click once more and properties this time click on internet protocol version 4 hit properties once more and check the use the following dns server address we are gonna be testing the cloudflare dns as well as the google dns to check which one gives us lower ping and has a better connection with us and that's the one that we're gonna be using inside of the preferred dns server to do that open up the start menu and search for cmd once more run as admin and once this opens type in ping and then 8.8.8.8 and then hit enter this is going to ping the google dns server and it's going to return us minimum maximum and average ping these results will vary every time as well as every user so make sure to use the one that gives you the lower average ping so i'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing for the cloudflare dns so ping 1.1.1.1 and then hit enter and as you can see that i'm getting the lower average ping with the google dns so i'm gonna use this one as the preferred dns so i'm simply gonna come here and change all of these ones to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and i'm gonna replace all of these eights with 1.1.1.1 then hit ok close and close now that you have optimized your dns hopefully you will get a lot lower ping than what you used to get also i know that a lot of you gamers tend to keep your browser open in the background while you're gaming and this doesn't only affect your ping but also the overall system resources in the form of running in the background so a quick fix is to open up your browser of choice then go to the three dots and click on settings i'm using google chrome as an example but it will work for any browser that you might be using then under the system settings or advanced settings make sure that 
continue running background apps when Chrome is closed is unchecked and also uncheck use graphic acceleration when available. This will require you to restart your browser so do that and that's it. Next we are going to be unlocking the ultimate performance power plan with inside of the windows and to do that open up the trusty cmd once more make sure to run as admin then copy and paste this command from the description and hit enter and now the ultimate performance power plan should be unlocked to apply it go down to start menu and search for power then click on choose a power plan and under the hide additional plans there should be the ultimate performance power plan just select it then go to the windows settings and inside of gaming make sure that the game bar is turned off and allow your controller to open game bar is also unchecked for the captures make sure that record in the background while i'm gaming is turned off as for the game mode make sure that the game mode is turned on and go to the graphics settings now if you have the gpu hardware scheduling option inside of here make sure to turn that on however in some gpus it might actually reduce your fps so in that case you might need to turn it off it varies from person to person so make sure to check it as for the preferences set it to desktop app and click on browse then browse to your favorite game for me i'm gonna use grand theft auto 5 then click on the executable that has the type application then hit add under the options make sure to set it to high performance hit save and that's it next up start menu once again and type in background apps then open the background apps and make sure that this is completely turned off this is going to ensure that none of these apps will be allowed to receive any informations and notifications or generally run in the background saving you precious system resources that can be used for gaming now this next one will apply specifically to the nvidia users so amd users can skip ahead so if you have the new nvidia app simply go ahead and open it up inside of here under the drivers make sure that you have the latest drivers downloaded then go into the graphics under the global settings make sure that you copy all of my settings except for my gpu of course but these don't matter as much because under program settings we can set specific settings for each program or each game for me i'm gonna use valorant as an example then click on this drop down menu and select your screen resolution and set the display mode to full screen once that is done simply scroll it to the performance side and it should have all of these settings applied for you once again make sure to pause this video and copy any of the settings that may not be applied automatically for you under the driver settings make sure that your gpu is selected image scaling is turned off however for really low end pcs i would suggest turning it on just to try it but make sure that the render resolution is set to 85 percent and the sharpen is about at 50 which are the default settings low latency mode should be set to ultra for a lot of the games but for me i have noticed that turning it on works the best as for max frame rates of course you don't want it on but the power management once again prefer maximum performance and vertical sync should be set to the use the 3d application settings now this app is good however sometimes it does not sync settings with the nvidia control panel and there are also a lot more settings inside of there than inside of here so once you are done with this open up the control panel as well then under the adjust image settings with preview make sure that use the advanced 3d image settings is checked then click on take me there and inside of here just ensure that all of the settings that you applied there have been transferred here but the most important ones are gonna be the low latency mode then power management and the texture quality so make sure that these settings match with what i have set here then under the change resolution make sure that your refresh rate is set to the highest one available then adjust desktop color settings and inside of here i basically like to turn up the digital vibrance and it just makes all of the colors pop a lot more then click on adjust desktop size and position set the scaling mode to no scaling and perform scaling on should be set to display once done close out of this and there is one more thing that i want to show you guys so go to the start menu and search for defrag open up the defragment and optimize drives and inside of here make sure that you never ever optimize your solid state drives but for those of you who are using hard drives as secondary storage just like me simply hit optimize and this is going to optimize your drives to help your computer run more efficiently this basically arranges all of the data blocks in a sequential manner so that your windows has faster access to all of that data which improves the read and write speeds for me as you can see these are zero percent fragmented so i don't need to optimize but if it says something like 10 20 or something like that simply hit optimize and then let it run and if you want to get even more performance out of your computer then go ahead and watch this video right now